leading scientific discoveries. That is what we do. That is the core of our society. Everybody brings something interesting and new to the table. And these are people from across the world. And a big part of that is that the patient voice is always included. The importance of global innovation in advancing respiratory health has never been better recognized. As an international organization, the American Thoracic Society is an incubator for advancements in global care through multidisciplinary collaboration, education, and advocacy. ATS is the place where it all comes together, the catalyst for careers and accelerator for expanding access with the goal of reducing health inequalities and the burden of respiratory disease. There's an unmistakable energy driving the work of the American Thoracic Society. The global innovation, leading scientific discoveries, getting research going from the bench to the bedside and beyond into the communities and our communities worldwide. And that reflects who we are today. The society, founded in 1905, is growing with an international membership dedicated to its core values. We've evolved over time to expand our focus on all of respiratory health and expand beyond the Americas to the world. It's such a large society and organization, but it really has been divided into various groups and so functions with the agility of a much smaller society. Committees and assemblies within the ATS, like the society itself, are a catalyst for growth, networking, education, and mentorship, focusing on professional development, particularly for early career professionals. So our students, residents, fellows, and junior faculty. But it's probably about 40% of our society now. We're providing platforms where they can, you know, develop mentorship, not just for themselves, but be able to offer it to other people. It inspires the multidisciplinary collaboration at the heart of the ATS. It also develops leadership skills, provides opportunities to help advance careers, and reinforces the commitment to research and discovery. Those members are our pipeline. They're going to be our future for pulmonary and critical care and sleep. And so teaching them what they need to know globally and holistically is ultimately going to affect patient care in the future. So I think in all those ways, ATS transforms patient care. And it's another area of emphasis that we're all passionate about as well. We use the scientific discoveries to transform patient care which also requires an emphasis on the voice of the patient. That ATS really is the only group that integrates patient voice at every level. Patients with respiratory disease get their voices amplified through the ATS Public Advisory Roundtable. The Public Advisory Roundtable is very interested in helping patients get access to care helping to facilitate and accelerate research in rare diseases, and from that to develop policies, consensus statements, and diagnostic guidelines and treatment guidelines, all of which are really important for, for good care. The Society is a worldwide forum for exchanging science. And so a whole other area of focus is in health service research and dissemination of best practices. And we do that through our journals, through our advocacy work, our guidelines, our proposals. Scientific breakthroughs are presented at ATS international conferences, along with memorable ways to inspire and motivate. Bear Cage, where we get uh, young investigators to do their pitches, it's, it's a a spin-off of Shark Tank. Especially memorable for members who have presented and literally been in the water with sharks. Shark diving is exciting for the moment and very nerve-wracking initially and once it's over you feel this very big sigh of relief and I think I felt the same way when I uh, first presented at ATS and have continued to present in that way. I don't think you can deny ATS's passion and commitment and the drive to achieve another core value of health equality in all areas of respiratory care, research, and clinical trials. We don't fully understand diseases if we are not including everybody. I think that's really at the forefront of what ATS is doing. And I love being around people with that vision. I am pushed by the excellence that's around me um, and inspired by the people I've been working with.